Hi there, VC. It's Steve Whitty again. This is volume, well, recent find volume 102. This is the CDs I purchased last week, uh, following on from the video I've just recorded for the vinyl. Um, so, a few CDs. Um, first off, uh, you'll be quick. This is going to be a quick one. Uh, might as well sh sh be in and out. So, this is Blink 182 Cheshire Cat. Now, this I believe this came out in 1994, so it's got pretty much the original lineup that first recorded. I'm not aware of any tracks on this album at all. Um, so, and I believe this is an actual American copy. Um, so, yeah, very pleased to um, give that give that a go. So, we'll see what comes up there. Beauty sometimes of finding CDs is finding some comps and taking a punt on somebody that you've heard of but you don't know that much of the stuff. And I would include Patsy Cline in that. I haven't got that much country music in my collection. I'm aware of her primarily through Crazy. I recently bought a 7 inch single uh, of, of said record and I do know of the song. I've seen, I remember seeing the film Sweet Dreams, I think it's. Uh, some um, Jessica Lam uh, Paul Trader. Um, so, I know, obviously, I know Crazy. Um, probably where your cheating hearts, that might be the, um, Hank, the Hank Williams song, Love Sick Blues. Um, yeah, I'm really, it's just really such a stab in the dark. Um, yeah, I mean, it might be the only Patsy Cline I need. Sun is rising, so I'm getting a <laughs> typical, I'm getting a glare through, I'm going out and, and out of darkness. Found this in a charity shop, which is surprising. This is Dead Kennedy's um, Fresh Fruit for Watching Vegetables. This is a twin CD digipack. So you've got the album on disc one, and on disc two you've got um, some other recordings as well of their better known stuff. I've not got a clue what it's what it's about. I think I've got a twin. This is the second double co uh, cop copy of this. I brought the reissue years ago, which had the um, album and then the DVD documentary. So pleased to um, find this, and yeah, to find this in a charity shop. More than happy to have that. I have got this album on vinyl, but I thought I'd have the CD copy as well. This is Emerson Lake and Palmer's work. Volume one. It's quite interesting. I've just been reading Greg Lake's autobiography, and he does feel at the time that maybe the band should have split before they got to this. He wasn't very keen on the recording with the um, orchestra, and I think he rather let his heart rule with his head. I think he, he it was because Keith Emerson really was pushing, you know, for having orchestral works and. Greg Lake sort of thought this had gone against the ethos of what the band was about. However, he did go with it and he did find the tourists. But I think if he'd really let his head rule his heart a little bit more, it'd have saved him a few million because they absolutely lost lo he shed loads of money with the tour and the um, and the whole recording as well. No, the one song I try, so I thought I'd give the album Macy Gray a a listen. Um, yeah, uh, so I thought I'd give her, uh, give this a spin. Yeah, be interesting to see what else she did. I can only, only know if uh, I try, so that's primarily where I know her from. Green Day Warning. So this is probably the first time I've took a dip into Green Day outside Ducky and American Idiot. Obviously, I know the song Warning. Um, Minority, I know as well. So, be interested to see what this album sounds like. Uh, as I mentioned in previous videos, I can take or leave Green Day. Uh, when they're good, they're good. When they're when they're rubbish, they really are. I think rubbish. Band, I'm going to take a punt on. I'm not sure if I am going to like this. It's Mumford and Sons, but I know they're popular. You know, with the the folk inf influence. Um, I haven't really. I haven't seen it to be quite honest. I personally got it, so but then again, I haven't purchased any of their stuff, so I thought I'll give this a go and see what what the fuss is about, and see if I if, if he, I might like this. You know, you never know. 
Uh, I mean, it might actually inspire me to go and purchase some more of their stuff. Rush counterparts. Um, to build up my Rush collection. Uh, I thought I'd buy it on CD. This was an eBay purchase. Um, to be quite honest, if I bought this as vinyl, it, it cost, well, I would say it cost me an arm and a leg. Um, I did have the CD years ago, and I think a few years ago I had plans to leave the UK and whatever, and I was selling stuff and it fell through. So, um, and this was one of the things I got rid of, uh, much to my um, chagrin. Now I'm glad I've got it, got a copy back. So, Counterparts, this came out 1993, I think. Um, and at this point, I got back into Rush. I sort of dropped out of loving Rush. Um, particularly towards after the I Hold Your Fire tour. I, I, just, I saw him, at, as I mentioned in previous videos, I saw him at Show of Hands. Um, when they recorded Show of Hands at Birmingham, they, but they were testing out the equipment. And then it sort of must a bit, I, I fell out of love a little bit um, with them. I wasn't that initially impressed with Presto or Roll of Bones, so I, I just sort of like. When Rush, where it used to be, when a Rush album came out, I'd go out and buy it. Yeah, literally, you know, as the, you know, as the shop opened, I just left it for a while. And then, um, but then I saw it, I thought, well, I'll give it a go. And I actually like this album. I'm going to change the case on this. It's an horrible green case. I think somebody's changed it already. This is The Temptations, and this is one of these two for one. So you've got All Direction, um, which I have got on vinyl. But you've then got um, Psychedelic Shack as well. And on here, obviously on, on all directions, you've got Poppy Was a Rolling Stone. Um, absolute classic song. And then Psychedelic Shack, you've got the title track. Change of Direction, Norman Whitfield got involved with the, um, with the band. And took him in a totally different direction. Um, um, lost Dennis Edwards recently. Um, just a, it's just sad. Um, so these two albums, uh, a bit of a tribute to. Them. Finally, on the CD front, a couple of compilations, sort of to go with me alternative eighties. I found this um, Electric Dreams, which is eighties synth pop classics. So I'm trying to think which are the best songs on here. Craftwork, the model, a friend electric. You got Bowie's Fashion. Um, Landscape, I Steiner Go Go, that was a great song. Visage, Fade to Grey, John Fox, Underpass, what a great song. Human League's Being Boiled, Ultra Fox Vienna, that was on disc one. I'm giving you everything on disc one. Um, on disc two, oh, Orchestral Maneuvers in the Dark, Electricity, um, Paul Hardcastle's 19, um, Heaven 17's, We Don't Need That Graph, the, the, Don't Need This Graph. Fascist Groove Thing, um, Spandau Valley, Cut a Long Story Short, Blue Monday as well. Um, excellent comp, nothing wrong with a good comp. And this is has got potential to be a good comp. Final CD, Stone Cold, Stone Gold Funk. This is a galaxy of original rare grooves. So I've got on here, I'm just looking at the stuff that I might know. Well, I know the bands and crap. Hawaii players are on here with this track mother in law. Got the meters, funky miracle. Joe Text, I got ya. Uh, Lee Dorsey. Uh, Lee Dorsey's got two tracks on here. This came out in 1998. It's probably only cost a couple of quid when it first came out, so I've probably matched the price. So I'm going to go give that a spin. I think I'm going to enjoy that. So that was my CD finds. I'm sorry if the lights going in and out a little bit. I'm not, I hate Rick. I shouldn't really record on air, but I just felt a bit lazy rather than moving this stuff round to the normal. So, VC, um, as I said, last video, enjoy your Easter Sunday. Have a good Easter. Um, you know, just be a peaceful one. Um, if you've stumbled across the channel for the first time and you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Love the interaction. Feel free to comment. I will always try and get back to you. Well, I will get back to you try that's just an excuse for being lazy so vc don't eat too much chocolate until the next video
take care of yourselves, keep um, spinning, and more importantly, keep smiling.